Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBones.com. And before we get started with this video, I want to thank you guys for helping the channel reach 30K subs. I put out a post the other day in my community tab asking people what they struggled with, what was their thing that they had problems with. And a lot of people said creativity. So today I want to really dive in and talk about uh, creativity and what it is and how we can develop it. All right, but first we got to define what uh, creativity means. Uh, create uh, means to bring something into existence. So anytime you play, you're creating music. But the part that we want to define is being creative. So let me look this up and see what it has to say. So here's the definition for creative, uh, which is an adjective. It says relating to or involving the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. And another definition says having good imagination or uh, original ideas. Being creative comes from experience and listening to music, studying from other people and things like that, learning your theory uh, and all those things combined, you know, with your ear, you'll be able to create things your own way. But if I can offer you something practical today, um, I would say uh, start with the sounds you use. So everybody gravitate the piano all the time. So, right, for example, now let me change it to a, a Celeste sound. So we have something like this, whoop, not that. <laughs> Turn that off, right? You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Now it just changes the character of that simple chord progression. All right. So let me set up an overhead view so you guys can see some other things that I might do to help with my creativity. All right. So for example, if I want to uh, do something to be creative, I'll try to use a uh, different sound. So I have, so I have this uh, triangle, right? I'll maybe, uh, I'll put it to mono, right? Right, and then I'll just turn on the arpeggiator. Do stuff like that. So when I, I turn the speed up, like way, way up. So I'm uh, at the rate up and I, and I have it uh, synced to the master clock of my keyboard, for example. I'm not really going into that. I'm just giving you guys ideas, right? And I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll turn on the re some reverb and get a nice, nice spacious effect. Stuff like that, right? Um, now I'll probably do uh, delay as well. So just create just just a stack of just just a wall of sound. So right, and then I'll mess with the volume. I'll just create a wash of sound, you know? So I'll play a chord. Right? And I'll play another chord. Mm. Stuff like that. So the arpeggiator is just going up. It's moving in an upward direction and it's covering four octaves. So I, I like to do stuff like that. Now I'm gonna make it go down. So I'll play a chord. All right. Here's what it sounds like without the effects. All right. So then I'll do something like a detune, right? And then I'll change the pitch of it. And, you know, and that delay happens just creates a cool effect. So start using your keyboards and the effects and things and ways that you normally don't use them. You know, stop thinking that you have to play everything. All right. So I hope this helped. Once again, thank you guys for uh, helping the channel reach 30K. Uh, by the way, I just released a new course, Understanding and Mastering Drop Twos. Uh, this course will be 50 bucks until May 1st. So get it now for this introductory price because it won't be that any longer. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video.